Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and you're watching VSense. So on today's video, we're going to be talking about a fragrance by the House of Killian. As you have seen in the title, I don't have to introduce it. This is a very popular fragrance by the House of Killian. Uh, lots of celebrities do wear this fragrance, such as Rihanna and multiple other ones. So when you wear this fragrance, you gotta work, 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 work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just totally kidding, but totally. <laughs> but it's one of those fragrances that is definitely very iconic. It's very popular. It's very much loved and adored. And today we're going to review it to see what's the hype about. Is it really worth it? Is it not worth it? You tell me down in the comments what your thoughts are on this fragrance. So. Uh, just so you do know, I do have the fragrance with the regular packaging. So in this handy dandy cardboard box, uh, this is what Killian's actual fragrances come in. So they do have two options with some of the fragrances. Some of them will come with a coffret, which is this nice box type of acrylic type of material. Uh, I do have a video where I do review Straight to Heaven White Crystal. I can link that down below so you guys can see what that box looks like. But if you do not pay for that, which it has a hefty premium, I believe it's somewhere within $100 or $120 that you pay extra to get that box. If you decide not to pay for it, then you get this box. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, it's really not. Uh, it's kind of kind of lackluster, to be honest with you. It's one of those boxes where you're like, eh, they could have done a lot better. They could have done a lot more with it, but they did not. So this is what the box looks like. So... It is, like I said, cardboard. It is a generic box that Killian looks like they just stick on their stickers as to what fragrance and then they stick this sticker on the back. But, but overall, it is a fairly generic fragrance box. Uh, when you do open it, you do get the K for Killian here. And then you get this. So you get a very nice insert. It looks nice. It looks luxurious. It looks very opulent. Now, my only gripe with this is that I wish they would have picked something different as a material to insert this because, or, you know, even glued it in because when you pull this fragrance, the whole thing kind of comes out, which I get it. Some people are going to reuse this box. I don't know what for, but I guess you can if you want. But this actual material itself just is not... It's just not it. It's not the tea. Here we go. We have the beautiful bottle here. So it is a white bottle in comparison to the other ones. So they have, I believe, black. They have blue. They have red and white. And then they also have the ones that are the coffre size, which is this guy here. This is for Straight to Heaven. So if you actually decide that you absolutely love the fragrance and you must have it, you know, on backup, because let me tell you something about Killian prior to getting into it. Their longevity and performance is shit. Yes. So this is the coffre that you know you can purchase in certain certain fragrances will not come in that size or in that bottle. Um, and also the thing about that is that it is a decant. So you would have to buy like a pipette. I have a pipette where I stick it in there and then take out the fragrance, not spill it. This is what the bottle looks like. It is very nice. Um, I did get this one from Costco, by the way, not sponsored. It was a discounted and it is, like I said, one of the top selling fragrances for women. So this is a feminine fragrance. A lot of the white or all of the white ones, I should say, are considered feminine fragrances. So they have Good Girl Gone Bad. They have the new one, which is I Can't Stop Loving You, Love Don't Be Shy, things like that. Those are typically women's fragrances, but you know... If you like it, you like it. You can wear whatever you'd like. So so in regards to sprayer, let's see. It is a nice sprayer. It's not the nicest sprayer, but it is nice. By the way, these are of solid metal, it feels like. And they are very nice, these. So the fragrance is nice. It's a white floral intensive fragrance. Uh, it does have a kind of tropical bad girl vibe. I mean, it does play off the name, which is good girl gone bad. So it's kind of like a very sexy, very appealing fragrance, but, but it's also very mature, if that makes any sense. This fragrance really, really reminds me of another fragrance. It's not one-to-one, -one, of course, but it is something that they're kind of in the same group of family, which would be Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior. Uh, it has that vanilla, that type of, you know, like a long, long type of smell to it. Very nice, very sexy. Like I said, that's another very sexy fragrance, uh, Hypnotic Poison. 
but this one itself is a little bit more modern it's a little bit more wearable it's a lot more mainstream if that makes any sense but it's still very unique you know killian if he has anything going for the brand it would be that the fragrance smells are extremely unique for the most part so in terms of performance and longevity you're not going to get it out of this fragrance this is and i will say a little bit better than something like straight to heaven is you will get a little bit more wear out of this guy and it will stick on to your clothes and to your skin a little bit better but it's not anything to write home about as well the top notes for this are going to be may rose osmanthus as well as orange blossom so you get that may rose it's very prominent at the top you also get that orange blossom which is what gives this a very kind of like tropical vibe to it it's not necessarily full-on tropical um, to me, something that's full-on tropical, just as an explanation, would be something like Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, uh, because it kind of has that sunscreeny type of vibe to it. But this one does not have that per se. It just has that like fruity type of top, which makes it, you know, play with the roses and just makes it a little bit more vibrant, if that makes any sense. So it's a vibrant fragrance very ever so slightly and it's more floral so it leans more into the floral notes it leans more into the osmanthus and the may rose but it does have those nice qualities and touches that make it a little bit fruity your heart notes are going to be tuberose narcissus as well as jasmine this is very big on tuberose tuberose is very prominent i've noticed in a lot of the women's fragrances so I know that although it's not considered a woman's fragrance, Rolling in Love is very big on tuba rose. Uh, I know that the other fragrances that are very popular, such as Love Don't Be Shy, is also very big on tuba rose fragrance oils. So I would say that it is one of those notes that can kind of come off as dated because tuba rose typically smells like something our grandma would have worn. So although it's a nice scent, it's one of those scents that's a little hard to wear if you are younger. So I would definitely say that the age bracket for this is anywhere from mid 20s to late 30s, maybe even, you know, exceeding on to the 40s and 50s range. But again, it's a fragrance anyone can wear based on your personality and what you actually like. Because there's some people that are 20 and may act like they're 50 and they need to be wearing black opium. So it just really depends on you as a person overall. Then the base is going to have cedar wood as well as amber. So it does have a very nice ambery base to it. That's what I do like about this fragrance. I think it's a little bit soft. So although it has that strong may rose, that osmanthus, that tuberose, and it has those fruity touches within the fragrance itself, it's also a fragrance that has a nice base to it. So it has a little bit of warmth with the woods, a very nice soft cloudy type of smell so very nice i would say that it's a fragrance that a lot of people will enjoy and love and appreciate is it worth 275 us dollars for this bottle that is up to you because you know what's intrinsically valuable to me may not be to you i know that killian like i said has a very unique sense if you can find a dupe out there that smells identical then i would say go for that because unfortunately killian as a brand does not have longevity or performance like i said this one's not super bad on that department but it's not the best either you know it's not going to give you your eight to nine hour range if you're going to be spending this much money so for this much money it should be lasting you 10 to 12 hours but it's not so if you do find a dupe for it i would say to get it if you like these type of fragrances if you don't then i would definitely skip out on it because it's one of those that is very much into the floral heart it's very well executed and done very tastefully because like i said tuberose is one of those notes that can typically come off very old very you know dated and this one has done it extremely extremely well so definitely check out good girl gone bad by killian let me know what your thoughts are down below have you tried this fragrance or have you tried any of the white bottles by killian let me know i really love to see everyone's comments down below make sure to also give the video a thumbs up subscribe for more fragrance related content and i'll see you next time bye